celebrate one and all the victory over profit. Cast off your chains and join the new republic. We are bringing you what profit would deny. Electricity, machines, leisure. The old days will be ahead of us again. The Republic, number one. Republic number one. Republic number one. Republic number one. Republic number one. Well, this is Fred Greenhalger, Final Room Productions, back at our off-grid studio after a fairly soggy day of recording The Cleansed. Um, but what a fantastic day it was out on location. We did all sorts of interesting things. We had a fiddle band, we had uh, imaginary canoe stroking, we had uh, life and death situations, Maria shooting down a bomber, and all the other adventures you have in a day of audio recording. Really, the day was about um, this conflict between the group called The Dwellers and The Refuge. Um, so in our post apocalyptic apocalyptic realm there's really two groups of people there's people who have survived in a rural setting and people who've survived in an urban setting and within the people who survived in the rural setting there are the dwellers and the refuge the dwellers are almost like modern Native Americans they have a very survivalist lifestyle uh, they hunt fish live off the land in a very very real sense uh, compared to the refuge where they still have technology they've got wind turbines they've got hydro power they've got solar panels um, they're agricultural based they're growing crops as opposed to harvesting crops off the landscape and there's an ancient feud between the two of them and this whole arc of the first season is them colliding together again having to deal with the history of the past having issues that uh, cause them to come into conflict with each other and then we see what happens on the other side of that conflict so now we let him go. No! No what? Uh, no, we don't. We save him. He doesn't want to be saved. Mom, we have to do something. What can we do, Maria? I've done what I can. I've got a jungle first aid kit. Uh, what about them? Surely they can do... What are they gonna do? They want him dead, too. Please, Mom. You have to. He has to live. You can explain the situation to them, Miss Bravery. You don't seem to mind putting yourself out on a limb. I will. Okay, but I come too. Great. Cut, and do one more like that, and then the last take I'll have you guys actually exit. Today was a pretty soggy day of recording, and you just have to roll with it. Uh, at least, you know, this is the part of field recording. Um, when you're in a studio, you have a controlled environment, you know where all the equipment is, you know uh, you have control. Um, part of the trade-off of being field recorded is that you have no idea what's going to happen. Uh, we've been blessed with some really great weather days. Today was, well, it's a good weather day if you're a duck, but apart from that, it was pretty wet. Uh, so we made, we made, we had to roll with it. There was a uh, big piece in the script about how there was no rain, there was a drought, so we had to change some dialogue lines on the fly. Uh, we had actors uh, in an imaginary canoe getting soggy, wearing rain jackets, having to wear it, deal with all that, but they're all pretty intrepid people. Um, and it, it's still, at the end of the day, the recording quality is just so rich uh, that it's just so much worth the effort of making it all happen in the field. So, you know, maybe the highlight of the day was getting the fiddle players in for this lively uh, post-apocalyptic barn dance with everybody yipping and yowling. Uh, the fiddle players, luckily, were inside a barn, so they weren't um, totally getting their fiddles soaked. Uh, but all of us are out there in the mud uh, pretending we were drinking uh, apple cider wine and... Having a great time. Fun time. Coming like the glory of the morning on the wave. He is wisdom to the mighty. He is honor to the brave. So the world shall be his footstool and the soul of rogue is slain. Our God is marching on. Quit that rubbish. <laughs> My angels, it is time to let your arrows against wickedness fly! Today we are at the North Dam Mill in Biddeford. Uh, I'm a sound recordist, so 
so uh, it's my job to, to man the recording equipment and the, uh, the microphone and capture all of the, the great acting that's going on. Um, we're recording a radio drama and uh, my role is I'm kind of the production assistant for the director. Um, I take all of the uh, notes for what takes we're going to use. I um, keep everyone on track. It's kind of like the assistant director on a film. Radio is really special because it's different than film in a lot of ways. Um, when you're recording something with radio, you're required to limit your senses. You're required to really focus in on sound in this instance. Um, it's interesting because when you're recording something like horror, for example, which is like the piece we're doing tomorrow, um, you're forced to imagine um, all of the different pieces of the horror. You're forced to delve into your own imagination. And a lot of the times that can be a lot more frightening than anything that you would see on film, anything that someone could present to you. Just getting to see all the different talent uh, perform actually is a, is a real treat. Uh, Fred's done a, a really good job of uh, scouting the talent he uses and we've just got some really talented players working on these and it's, uh, it's kind of fun to be up close and personal and be there for those, those magic moments. What's going on? This the one? Yep. I understand you need a lesson in authority. No. Shut up. Oh. What's going on? You, you gonna beat an innocent man? I said, shut it. Hey, don't hit him where he can't swing a hammer. I heard you forgot your place. Your job is to break up slag and keep your mouth shut. You don't tell your boss whether he's wrong or right. He killed a man. My friend. Murdered the Admiral's good friend. <laughs> criminals! What's that? I said, you're a bunch of criminals. You're a whole lot. <laughs> you're the criminal, Slag. Why else are you down here? This is for Don! <laughs> hey! Get off! Oh, he worked that. hard for you! He worked hard for you! You can't oh. do that! You can't oh. strike a guard! I'm gonna listen to you! Oh, God! You did this! Hey, you look! Rotten bastard! Calm down, Luke! You did this! You killed Don! You bastard! You don't know what you're doing! Uh, this is for Don! No! I didn't want this! No. I didn't want this! <laughs> Don! One more, one more, where you let the, where you hear the dawn! <gasps> dawn! What we do is filmmaking without the camera. Now, the Cleanse is an epic piece of production. It's four hours, just this first season of it, and there'll be two more seasons of a similar length. So to imagine recording that as a film is just, it's, it's so epic and so resource intensive, and having all the things that happen with all the, the dancers and the actors and the guns and the explosions and the planes, it's just, way beyond what we could ever afford to do in film. So audio allows us to have this wonderful palette of the imagination. This is command. Looking for Admiral Richard, over. Admiral Richard is indisposed. This is Captain Saul, over. 10-4, Captain. Approaching final target range. Request to drop payload, over. Permission granted. Destroy without prejudice. Over. Roger, we'll go back. Gabriel, out. What was that about? Tying up some loose ends. Come on, Zeke. There'll be fireworks in a moment. Zeke, our time is at hand. Yes, Saul. Are you ready, son? I am ready. Good. Follow me. <laughs> <laughs>